Hey guys, it's Will with Into Mobile here. We are taking a look at the, well, it's 3D and it's the world's first tri dual technology. It's LG's Optimus 3D, or otherwise known as the LG P9920. Uh, that's, not as in, that's not as compelling as the Optimus 3D with the 3D, oops, with the 3D logo all over here. So, what I wanted to do was unbox this guy. This is the packaging. This is the retail packaging for the LG Optimus 3D, right? It's got pretty cool packaging. It's about, you know, it's about the size of uh, two hands put together. You can palm it pretty easily. And you lift it up to reveal, ta-da! We've got the LG Optimus 3D, as you see right there, with all the, uh, the branding, welcome to the world of 3D. It's got, you know, all this cool stuff on it. Before we get into this guy, the hardware with the two cameras, because it's the 3D, which means it can take 3D pictures and video, also more stuff. I'll tell you about that in a second. Let's take a look at the box real quick. So there's the box, right? You lift up this tab and there goes the documentation. Yeah, cool. Okay. So what else do we have in here? Well, we've got the micro USB cable. It serves as charging a data cable. It'll charge if you plug it into here, plug this into the wall. If you're in America, this will not work. But anyway, and... We've got headphones, cool, and we've got a battery, cool. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna unseal this bad boy, and I'm going to open up this bad boy just right there. Pop them in, and while we're popping them in, let's talk a little bit about the LG Optimus 3D, shall we? So off comes that. Oh wow, there's a lot of plastic on here. Um, interesting. So here's the power button. I'm gonna. Take off the plastic off the power button there. Okay, screw it. I'm going to keep it on. So while it's powering up, I'm going to remove this guy too. LG, of course. Let's take a look at the phone itself. So we've got a big 4.3 inch WVGA um, uh, capacitive touchscreen here. Uh, real big, real uh, a lot of space for web browsing and typing with your fingers. We've got this guy is a multimedia monster, obviously, right? It's got two cameras. This is going to be a multimedia monster. So, of course, we've got an HDMI port here. This is mini H micro HDMI, I should say. And we've got the micro USB port right there, both cleverly hidden under these little uh, ports here. And it's about booted up, and you can see that there are backlit, uh, touch-sensitive navigation buttons down here. Back to the hardware tour real quick. We've got the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on top, right next to the power button right here. On the left side, I just showed you those ports. On the right side, you have the volume control rod. Ah, it says 3D right there, doesn't it? Yes, it says 3D because it controls these two 3D stereoscopic cameras. And it says 3D stereoscopic right there. And uh, each of these cameras is uh, specced at 5 megapixels. And it has an LED flash in the middle there. And, of course, when I... I'm just going to pop this open again. And when you pop it open, you have, what is this? A hot swappable micro SD card. Which is awesome because, a uh, micro SD card slot, because you don't have to pop the battery out and reboot the phone in order to swap out uh, cards for, you know, recording video uh, with your 3D video and whatnot. So, okay, what is this? We have to, we have to, you will not be guided through setting it, this thing up. So, let's continue. Select language. Well, oh, I saw English over here. United States. Okay. I'm going to make that automatic. Both add Wi Fi. I'll add that later. Oh, here we go. Connect. We're adding the Wi Fi network. I'm going to skip my Google account. And we're going to wait for this guy to initialize. I'm going to skip all this just for the sake setup is complete. Okay, and what I wanted to show you was, ah, here we go. Pinch the home screen. This is a little uh, startup guide. We don't really need to go here. Um, I'll show you some of these features later. But check it out. This is Android 2.2 Froyo OS, but skinned with LG's custom light customizations, which is, this is LG's own home screen theme. You got the side swiping uh, screens. You've got this weather and clock widget, and you've got uh, all, all seven home screen panes here. And of course the application 
the applications tray. This is LG's applications tray. Uh, a little bit customized here. It's broken down into 3D applications, which are useful regular applications and downloaded applications. So the 3D applications are really what interest us. Let's fire up the 3D camera here and take a look at the camera. We have a little Android guy here as a, as a demo. And uh, you'll see, you'll notice actually that you're seeing ghost images here because actually this 4.3 inch capacitive touchscreen is a glasses free 3D display which allows you to see images in 3D. Now this ghost imaging that I'm uh, showing you right now is the closest you're ever going to get to actually being able to comprehend 3D on video that is not 3D. Um, but uh, it does work and it's, that's, that's what's real surprising about it. I'm just going to go ahead and press this button. Turns out that button is not the camera shutter button, it's actually the 3D button. I totally should have known that. But, so this actually takes you through all the 3D features of the phone, 3D camera, 3D gallery, and you can see some of this ghosting going on, and that's because of the 3D effect that I'm seeing, but you are not seeing because this is a 2D camera that I'm recording with. But uh, overall, really cool, and uh, if I hold down the home button, right, I can just go back to the 3D camera and take a 3D picture like so. Or I can turn off the 3D recording like so right there and just take a regular 2D picture and notice there's no more ghosting anymore and that's a full 5 megapixel camera uh, full 5 megapixel picture if I were to take this picture in 3D because of there's overlapping and uh, some of the border control required for 3D it reduces the effective megapixels down to about 3 megapixels 3.2 megapixels for a 3D image but you just take it like so and when I'm looking at it it actually looks kinda cool it's kinda like uh, popping off the screen so what you're seeing is not what I'm seeing. Um, cool stuff, right? And actually, this phone is powered by the, as it says right here, it's powered by the Texas Instruments OMAP4 processor, right? And what that means is this, is, this guy has a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor. But it's not just dual core like we've uh, come to know from other um, chip makers. It's actually tri-dual core is what they're calling it because it's a dual, pro dual processing core that uses dual channels on each core and has dual memory to uh, serve each core, right? That gives, that makes it, uh, it reduces all the bottlenecks that come with uh, even dual core phones. And, um, okay, so that's, that's slide up to unlock. So that's a little bit about the 3D features of the phone. Now, this is the Optimus 3D, but it's obviously uh, not released yet. We're not sure of the price point, but expect to see this guy coming in the very near future is what LG tells us. Um, I just, I'll leave you with this. This is the LG Optimus, T, uh, not the LG Optimus, this is for T-Mobile. The uh, LG makes the G2X for T-Mobile right here. And you can see that they're fairly similar in size. So if you know what a G2X feels like in the hand, you know approximately what the uh, Optimus 3D feels like in the hand. They have the same coating on the back. They have similar style here, um, but the difference is this guy, the L Optimus 3D is actually bigger because it's got that 4.3 inch display versus the G LG 2X, which only has the uh, 4 inch display here. So uh, that's a quick little look at the LG Optimus 3D with the stereoscopic 3D cameras.